back to another eyeliner review. We're doing another one by Pixie by Petra from their Endless Silky Eye Pen line, which are, incidentally, pencils, despite being called pens. We've already been over this last time I reviewed one of these. So this one is in the color Black Caviar, which would uh, make you think that it's just going to be black, but I was looking at it up close, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is that not dark brown? Like, let me swatch it on my hand, because I'm just very curious what I'm getting myself in for here. Mm, it's definitely blackish, but yeah, it's it's got a bit of brown in there, too. Like, uh, it's like a really dark sienna, in my opinion, so it's kind of weird to go with a name. That implies black, but I mean, it is what it is, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. We're gonna see how it wears. I'm still hopeful. It's dark enough to where I don't think it's gonna matter that it's a little bit brown. It's not like the warmer browns that are, like, reddish, and then they just come off looking weird and crap. So I've got my mirror here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this on as quickly as I can without totally effing it up. Okay. I don't know that I'm going to do lower lids today, though. Because I think I have enough moisturizer on my face where it's just going to smear if I do that, so I'm probably going to skip that. I have nothing on the top lids, so... It does go on really, really smoothly, just so you are aware. It goes on like butter, honestly. I like that about it. But with that in mind, you have to be very careful with the tips on these, because they can at any moment, with no warning, just bust off. So just be aware, be cautious. Don't press too hard, which shouldn't be an issue around your eyes, but you would be surprised. You would be surprised. Ooh, don't move on me, mirror. <laughs> like, I've had all kinds of weird eyeliner situations, so. Honestly, I think today I'm just going to go to there. I'm not even going to do a wing. Like, just, you know, basic bitch stuff. <laughs> so, let me do the other side. At least, because it's so close to black, it, it really doesn't, like, read as brown once it's on. So, that's good. Because I was worried about that, because brown liner and me just don't usually get along real well. They just don't look good on me. <laughs> Something along those lines. Just go in and gap the lash line, don't mind me. I got a nail polish on my forehead, what's that doing there? <laughs> Moving at the line a little. Okay. That's not too bad, honestly. I can hang with that, I think. It's not perfectly even. It's on a little thicker on this side. I mean, I can try to even it up, but... It was a dicey gamble with me, because uh, I'm trying to get it to match. Good luck.
Uh, right. I'm not going to call that close enough. So we shall see how that wears throughout the day. Hopefully not too horribly. Uh, I will check in and let you know how it's going. But right now, just looks like average eyeliner. <laughs> nice and pigmented. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm pressing pretty hard and I'm not getting smudging, so that does give me a feeling of confidence that maybe it'll wear all right throughout the day, so we can hope. So, it isn't even that long after putting it on. I literally watched a movie and came back. Not even that long of a movie. Are we, uh, are we seeing this shit? At 12 bucks a pop, I expect better. Granted, I went into it expecting it to do exactly this, but at the same time, I expect better quality for that kind of a price point, so... Yeah, I'll clean it up and wear it anyway, but just... Mm, doesn't give you a great feeling of confidence trying to, like, wear it anywhere in public, right? Because you never know when your eyelids are going to start eating the eyeliner again. So, yeah, I would say if you're prone to this being an issue with your eyeliner, this one's not a great option unless you want to be constantly fixing it all day every day. Or if you want to do the, um, what is it, the setting powder trick where you put that down first, then put on your eyeliner, put more freaking setting powder over the top of that, and then one last layer of eyeliner over the top of that, maybe, if you're lucky, maybe it'll stay put. I've had mixed results with that method, and it feels very wasteful doing it, but at the same time, when you have hooded lids, and lids that like to eat the, the eyeliner, I almost said mascara, but eat the eyeliner, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? You know. Um, not that impressed, but not that surprised either. So, anyways, that is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys. Till next time, see ya.